Hello, so my way from generator finally arrived. It took a long time to get here uh, and it got stuck at customs. Uh, they didn't know what it is, so they sent me a letter. Hey, send me some proof what it is. We don't know what is arbitrary way for generator, you know. Is it a bomb? So yeah, that took a while. And it is from Filtech.net, Chinese uh, vendor. Uh, and it's supposedly 12 meg model. So, I actually recommend this shop, they seem to be big on this kind of thing, and it seems <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see the reason for concern of customs people, it looks actually kind of nice kind of professional although yeah it feels a bit light but you know the housing looks nice and it's actually bigger a little bit bigger than I expected considering you know probably there is not much inside this thing so let's see what else is inside the box Power cable for US. Hmm. But uh, 85 to 260. Usually, you know, as you probably know, these Chinese uh, shops uh, guess correctly based uh, from where you are and send you the correct cable. But yeah, okay. This time it's not so good. USB A to B cable for connecting to the computer. Uh, it, this is rather nice and unexpected. This is BNC to croc cable and the second one for the second channel. I actually need this. I don't have something like this and I was thinking on making it. And some software, prob probably it is the arbitrary way for um, editing software and nothing much there inside so this thing ended up 64 dollars plus around 20 dollars shipping so it is I don't know kind of okay-ish 84 85 bucks uh, it will be okay if the if it you know if it is useful if it will work as expected, if not, well, yeah. So the construction and the case looks quite decent for the money. It looks uh, kind of professional. It doesn't rattle, it's not really heavy. But yeah, it looks like uh, something you could keep in a laboratory. Uh, front panel is nice. Actually, it is nicely organized and labeled on the first side. And uh, I chose this model. This one is Filtech FY3200S. But actually, they have um, FY3206, 3212, and 3224, something like this, depending on the maximum frequency and this one is 12 megahertz so it's it should be fy3212 s but i think it can be changed in, inside software although it is questionable uh, if it is useful above you no know, 10 12 megahertz i will see about this in a separate uh, more detailed review this is supposed to be just unboxing and the first look on these things so this one uh, there are several uh, you know models maybe from the different manufacturers they look similar and probably use the same 
generic type of casing but this one actually has on and off switch which the other one doesn't I forgot the model so you know you have to unplug it this I don't yeah I really don't wouldn't like that one it will get on my nerves this one has I know decent on and off switch and it is uh, it's not soft touch rubbish uh, so when you turn it off it's off it doesn't consume power you wouldn't uh, or I wouldn't uh, trust this thing a lot on standby and uh, it has you know membrane type buttons looks like standard 1602 display for controls rotary encoder with fill the notches inside some buttons two channels and uh, input for uh, for the counter for frequency counter which is so nice added extra and uh, on the back is USB for connection on the PC and TTLA TTLB outputs and yeah this one has built in power supply obviously the other models or some of them have the external power supply and uh, as you probably noticed uh, they put a ground symbol on all of the connectors which I don't know if it is really necessary but as you can see it is not ground referenced so it is uh, in a way isolated from the ground you know when you plug it in main earth main earth ground on top and size there is nothing interesting and there are some rubber feet this thing to you know you can angle it like a real instrument and the marking on the model is just uh, you know selected uh, manually they just mark it 6 megahertz 12 megahertz 24 so this one is 12 you know i think it is actually it actually doesn't matter i wouldn't pay uh, anything extra for 24 meg because of the performance probably i don't uh, don't trust me on this 100% but i think the you know the performance wouldn't be much better on 24 meg than 12 meg probably the signal will be distorted above 12 meg and amplitude problem and so on and uh, one additional advantage potential advantage compared to the other model i cannot actually remember the other model name i can you know i can write it in description or if you want to know really you can ask me if i forget is that this one has a little bit better power supply supposedly because when you go to high frequency on the other one you cannot get big amplitude because the power supply just doesn't have enough juice for it this one should work better although uh, i don't know if the power supply is on the board mounted directly if you can uh, mod it and tweak it if there is a need for it but yeah that is a subject for uh, for another video i could not find the correct cable for this so i have this one this adapter for it costs like one dollar or less so it will do for the first hand so it is hooked up let's try to power it up see what it does software version yeah and here we go it is 10 kilohertz signal and 10 volt amplitude signal or sine wave 
So let's see. Let's hook it up to the scope. Okay, both channels seem to be active. Let's go for channel one. And it's showing something. Uh, let's adjust this thing before anything. And what do you know? We have 10 megahertz signal. It looks actually quite uh, it decent it looks like a sine wave so it's supposed to be 10 volt this is 1 volt per division so is it hmm. So what is going on here? Okay, let's go 10 volts per division. Okay, what I discovered, it will uh, uh, it will generate the amplitude, which is uh, specified on the display. This is two volts per division, so one, two, three, four, five but without 50 ohm termination so yeah this is a little bit hmm, i don't know dishonest or something but so it has as it seems sine wave functionality it can gen generate square wave triangle and Lots of arbitrary and preset. What is that? Ah, and what is that? And what is that? This one seems like some noise. Uh, this one seems like, you know, um, electrocardiogram kind of stuff and uh, whatever you call this one. Uh, actually, this one is uh, electrocardiogram. This one is what? I don't know what is that and more noise stuff and okay this one is a modulated signal it seems this looks kind of interesting I will play with this one later What the hell is this one? And back to sine wave. Plus frequency counter and sweep, but I have to check out the functionality. It would be. This thing seems to do its job quite well actually, for the price at least. I have to get acquainted with it a little bit more, maybe even read a manual, if really necessary. And uh, I will come back with a more detailed review uh, of its functionality and, uh, uh, you know, the possible improvements in it. Maybe I will take it apart and uh, look what is inside. And um, this is it for, for the first view and um, unboxing. I think this should be enough. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.